morning everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're going to tour the Alex World Avenue station. Now of course we have done tours of Alex World Avenue station before but the station has since been renovated and remodeled. So right now the station is still closed following an earthquake that caused mass devastation across the region. The station was only just rebuilt before the earthquake caused devastation mainly in the Alex World Avenue neighborhoods. A lot of damage has taken place as a result of this earthquake causing Emory Alex World Hospital to be permanently shut down due to severe damage to the building that was considered irreversible. It, we were unable to rebuild that so now the city of Alex World no longer has its own hospital and jail because that too was destroyed. So, we're gonna go in through the staff entrance, but before I do this, here is an update on the map. So as you know, more stations have been added. We are maximizing track usage. So as a part of the maximizing track usage plan, you are going to see lines overlap a lot more. This is our main corridor where you will have the yellow, purple, and not the yellow four. No, yes. So those aren't color train. The lime trains are basically numbered services. So you're going to have the two, three, and four trains running along that corridor. The gray line that you see over here is known as the one train. And then the orange line that you see next to the purple line is known as the five train. So if these new services, more neighborhoods can be connected. So, um, Alex World Avenue is one of basically 20 new technology stations. It comes with a modern version of an elevator. which we will take to go to the platform level. And we're gonna start with the eastbound platform because the eastbound platform is where a lot of activity occurs. As you know, in the morning times, Alex World Avenue is one of the busiest stations in the network because it is the most convenient transfer point between blue line trains and green line trains. So, you do have Grand Central Hunter College as a transfer station. The only problem is at Grand Central Hunter College, Passengers would have to walk up a long flight of stairs, walk down a long corridor, and then go up and then go upstairs to the mezzanine level, and then come back downstairs to the north-south level, and come back around to connect to the other side. The most common transfers between the blue and the green line is usually going to be across a platform. If you are coming from Cheshire County, you would have to go upstairs and then back down again to get a green line train into Dordyville. If you're coming from vice versa, if you're coming from Dordyville and need to go to uh, the city, you know, if you need to go to Cheshire County, you would have to go upstairs and turn around, which that is one of the most common trips made. So with such a common trip, it obviously made absolute sense to go ahead and just 
maximize the space. This is in fact a high capacity transfer because passengers can walk up the stairs and then go back down on the other side of the platform. And there are three sets of staircases where this can easily be done. Another thing at Grand Central Hunter College that many people do not like is the fact that another common transfer is most definitely from the east-west lines onto the brown trains. In times past, you would have to take a purple or red train out of Grand Central Hunter College and connect at Cosmos Church. But now, it is more convenient to... But then, brown trains stopped at Grand Central Hunter College, passing Alex Road Avenue Station at the time. Passengers would have to exit a blue or green line train, walk up two long flights of stairs, walk out of the paid area for Grand Central Hunter College, transfer onto the brown train because the brown train stops at platform seven at Grand Central Hunter College. So that was an extremely long walk, which always resulted in missed trains because the maximum headway for trains during rush hour is five minutes. But if it takes five minutes to get off the blue train and onto a brown train, most of the time you will linger in Grand Central Hunter College for 10 minutes. So that is why the brown train platforms are always dangerously overcrowded because you would have the passengers that missed the first train stand there on top of the passengers getting off of the second train, never mind um, purple and red trains had their finger in the till when it comes to this also. One more thing to consider is this beautiful transfer. So downstairs you can see our brown line service. This brown line service goes all the way from Eisenhower through Cosmos Church, through Lindenburg, underneath the World Trade Center, ending at Grand Central. It is the most busiest rail line in the entire system. This platform used to be extremely crowded every morning because of the convenience. If you wish to transfer, you do technically only have one transfer point because although you can exit either there or here, it only goes to each side of the plat. It only goes to each side of um, of the eastbound platform, and the same thing for over there. However, it is still high capacity though, because if you are not transferring onto a east or westbound train, you could simply exit up these longer flight of stairs here and then the elevator is also right there that would connect you. So Alex World Avenue station being a new technology station took safety really serious. Of course all of our new train stations have metrics that are supposed to be met. What happens if there is a fire? What happens if there is a shooting? What happens if there is sketchy activity? This is why columns are located in certain parts of the station where you won't really be able to hide behind them. The goal of this station design is to eliminate blind spots as much as possible. There really is nowhere in the station that one could effectively hide without being seen from somewhere. Now granted, you won't necessarily be able to see the entire station from one point of view, but given how busy it is, someone will be able to be seen by at least someone. And one thing that is featured here in our Alex World Avenue station is the emergency escape route. There's also a tornado shelter at this station. 
which is not common. So if there were an emergency, all of these back hallways here will allow you to escape to street level, or if there were to be a tornado, you could simply enter into this tornado shelter room. Of course, it's already been well established that the safest place on our network, in case of an emergency, would be on a train that is parked in a tunnel. You do not want to be on a train or bus that's outside because, of course, tornadoes have been known to throw such things. Now, it depends on your exit. So where? So how do I? How do I use the entrance? Of course, Alex Road Avenue is third place in the number of station exits. So here we have the exit to Jonathan Hills Boulevard and the Trade Center at Alex World. And uh, then over here, you're going to have. Vanderbilt Hospital, which that's an old sign, it's now closed. Jonathan Hills Road, Hospital Drive. The buses and the streetcar does park upstairs. Over there, you can exit to the medical office building. And right here, this is just the exit to Alex World Avenue. As you know, an earthquake caused nothing but huge devastation and landslides, which has taken years to clean up. The streetcar routes have even been destroyed as a result. The old bus terminal was in the process of being fixed. This is the old side of the station, but has since been closed. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.